My name is Joe Villa, and uh, I used to be a teacher for East Side Union High School District, and I uh, spent 20 years at uh, Piedmont Hills and 11 years at James Lick, and I taught math, I taught uh, even special ed before it was called special ed. I taught a uh, variety of things, I coached a soccer team. In which years? 1966. Until? 19. 97. So what kind of an elementary, junior high, and high school education did you have? I had a public school education from 1st through 12th. And I had, I was lucky enough to have fantastic teachers because I had, I was an honor graduate. Uh, I took the hardest classes, played sports from the third grade on, and um, I thought that the teachers were the most dedicated people and neutral. They, it didn't matter who you were, how poor you were, how rich you were. I came from very poor parents, and I had wonderful teachers. They, they, let, they set the tone for me. In Deming, New Mexico. More than half the students were Hispanic, uh, and most of them had had been born in the United States. Most of them, but there were two languages spoken in Deming. Spanish was spoken at home, predominantly, and English was spoken at school. So you had to learn both languages. You said you worked at Piedmont High School. Tell me some of the other faculty or people you remember from those days. Oh, a ton. Uh, they, they were literally, because it became like a training center, and people went there and, and taught, but then they transferred to Independence, to, to uh, all the other schools in the district. And so, so what are the names of some of the oh, people you worked Skip with? Oh, Skip Curtis, number one. Um, uh, I would say uh, Bill Patterson, uh, I'm trying to say uh, uh, Richard Langone, uh, uh, Bonacor, uh, uh, Norm Freiburg, uh, uh, Jean Bernoulli, and all these people, oh, there's so many of them. Uh, who are some of the people you remember working with at James Lake High School? Oh, Saldivar, Jim Zimmerman, um, oh, let me say, uh, oh, Jesus, coming up with names. And I knew the entire faculty. I mean, I was like, you know, um, but uh, I had uh, Bob Peters and, and Kathy Jamona and, uh, Oh my goodness, uh, uh, Norm Chang, uh, that's, yeah. So what would you say today to students who are going to school and think they want to be teachers and might be told, oh, you don't get paid enough and you ought to go do something else. What do you say to students today who say they want to teach? You know, it's not all about money. If you want something that you can hang your hat on, it is the relationships that you establish with the students. Through the years, I made a lot of friends. The students' friends, besides my teacher friends. Uh, I can't buy that. There's not enough money to buy that. And um, I still go to football games or places like that, and I meet them, some of them. And uh, uh, it's, I would say, follow your dreams and do, if that's what you want to do. It's hard work though, you know, it's not, it's not a, uh, it's not an easy thing. You have to work. Well, <laughs> I'm enjoying myself, my, my retirement. Uh, I still take an interest in the political 
and the economic uh, forces that control education, I still have that.